Good evening, I'm Janelle Stelson. And I'm Jerry Gish, and we've got some breaking news. Democrats will maintain their narrow Pennsylvania House majority after Heather Boyd defeated Republican Katie Ford in a special election in Delaware County. So she has now been projected the winner here with 63% of the vote. News 8's Barbara Barr kicks off our live commitment 2023 team coverage from the state capitol. And Janelle, Heather Boyd's win tonight means that Democrats will indeed control the state house 102 to 101, just that one seat edge. But that will enable them to control how issues are handled here at the state capitol, issues ranging from abortion to gun rights to election code, and also try to push through Governor Shapiro's agenda. The candidates voted in Delaware County in the morning. Republican Katie Ford is an Army veteran. Democrat Heather Boyd served as a congressional staff member. And Alfie Goodwin is the Libertarian candidate. I do it because I care about the community. I've been at a lot of polls greeting voters. The 163rd seat was held by Democrat Mike Zabel, who resigned amid sexual harassment allegations in March. Democrats have about an 8,000 voter registration edge. The high stakes race drew the attention of Governor Josh Shapiro and President Joe Biden, who endorsed Boyd saying she will protect a woman's right to make her own health care decisions, stand up for gun safety laws, and expand access to voting rights. Democrats have made abortion rights a central issue, claiming Ford would join Republicans in trying to ban it. She has repeatedly stated she supports a woman's right to choose. The stakes could not be higher, not just because it's in a county that has gone from Republican to Democrat, but because of the nature of the control of the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. And Democrats showed how important it was pouring about a million dollars into this election, far more than Republicans. So they, again, will be able to control the agenda here at the state capitol. The other special election up in Montour County, Republicans did hold on to that seat. Live at the state capitol, Barbara Barr, News 8.